Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Green. Today's video is how to organize your Google Classroom. Let's check it out. All right, let me make this small. And let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your classwork. Now, you don't want to use your stream. I only have this, because look at this is what happens to your stream. It gets all crazy. Some teachers use a stream just for communication, like sending announcements. Um, you could use it for that, but the main thing you want to work on is the classwork. So let's go to classwork. And as you can see, this is how my Google Classroom is set up. It has the topics by the day. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can even put next week's stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I go by the day and then when they click on it, then it shows you what you need to do that day. Okay, so it's kind of cool. I, I like it because it just kind of organizes it. So when a kid gets on, they know it's Wednesday. I have Zoom at 8.45. I have to do iRead for 30 minutes. I have to do writing. I have to do writing on a Jamboard. And when they click on it, you know, this one doesn't have it, but it have a link, you know? Like, for example, watch math. I click on the math. I have a video. There's a four-minute video that I have to watch on this topic. It even says, first watch the video. And then I have to do 15 problems on IXL Z6. So then I click on this. And that, after I watch the video, will take me to, I put Z9, will take me to Z9 and do those work. So it's kind of cool. So that's how I organize it. I have a video, I have an assignment. Same thing with writing, you'd have a video, you'd have an assignment, um, that way the kids can do it. Um, it doesn't have to be IXL, for example, for math, I put a video and I just found a video. I have a chart to help them and then I have a Google slide. So this Google slide has them, uh, it's an interactive Google slide. So on this one, it's about place value. They have to read it and I already did it, but they'd have to read it and drag because these are all over here. So they would read it, not me. <laughs> Hit the read it and drag it over. So pretty cool. And then some of them are typing like to read it and type the number. Okay. So that is how I like to set up my Google Classroom. It's nice for kids because kids just go to the date and they do that stuff that's on there and everything is linked. So now the question is, well, Mr. Green, like how did you make those topics and everything? So let me show you real quick. So the first thing you wanna do is you go to create. And I'm gonna pretend that we have Saturday school. So I'm gonna to go to the very bottom and it's called topic. And I'm gonna call it Saturday, Saturday, um, what, what day is that, the 15th? Yeah. 8-15, okay, so boom. Now I have a topic and you can see it says Saturday right here. Now I might not want Saturday in the beginning, so you can actually move it down, see, you can move it. I want that at the bottom because you want it in order for these kids, okay? And then once they're done with the day, you, you don't want that, you know, after the week's over, you want to move that somewhere else. Okay, so here's Saturday. Now to create an assignment in Saturday, you go to create, assignment, you title it, maybe it's a math video, or math, let's call it math, math lesson. One thing that I wanna show you guys is I like to add emojis to stuff to make it easier for kids. So what I do is I right click, click emojis. Maybe all my Zoom videos will have a, a heart. Maybe all my math videos will have a multiplication sign or a, like a square, or whatever you wanna do, maybe a dollar sign. That way, when they log in, they'll see that emoji. And they know, okay, green square, that means that's math. So, you know, so I like to organize it by color and by shapes or whatever. Math lesson, okay. And then you put your stuff. So if it's a Google slide, you just click it right here. If it's a IXL, you click it right here. If it's a YouTube video, like let's say your video you recorded, you put it on YouTube, post it right there. So I like to put instructions like first watch the video. And next, you know, whatever you want. Now, here's the important part. Do you want it graded? Eh, not this time. But the important part is how do I make that go into Saturday's folder? Well, see where it's topic? You click Saturday right there. Now, that'll be in Saturday's folder. Let me show you. Let me show you. So I go down. Remember how we made one that said Saturday? There it is. Kids click on it. 
boom, they do the work. And then they grade, and you grade it. That easy. So topic, topic, topic. What's important? Topics. And then that way it's all organized for the students so they're not going through this stream. Believe me, I've seen it. Teachers are posting things on the stream and the kids are like, I don't know what to click on. Boom, go by the day. And then the teachers, the kids just click on that. I got all that stuff done today. Good job. Good job. Good job. And that's it. All right, boys and girls, have a great day. Thank you for watching.